And what we're going to do, so I'm going to start off with a little bit of a warm up with some stretching. That'll be about five minutes. Then we've got a 20 minute workout, uh, which is going to consist of 10 different exercises that you're going to do for a minute. And then you're going to have a minute rest. So you just need to do as much as you can in that minute. If it's one of the exercise, then that's fine. That's just how it is for now. And we'll work on building it up. And then um, we're going to have a minute rest and then we're going to go on to the next exercise. So we've got 10 exercises in total, which obviously I will do with you. And then at the end, we'll have a quick five minute cool down and we'll be all done. And then we'll do the same next week, next Tuesday. I'll be on after the live if you have any questions or if you want to pop anything into the chat, I'll reply to you once the exercise session is finished. Okay, so I don't know whether you saw on the post I did put to grab a couple of things so a bottle of water a towel if you need it a belt or a dressing gown belt and a pen and paper so the pen and paper is for you to be able to record how many of each exercise you do in the minute so that you can track how you're getting on with the um, with the exercises as the weeks go by and how you're increasing your reps and the belt is in order to be able to help you do some stretching. Okay, so we'll get started. So, I will show you with the belt. I've got my resistance band here. So what you're going to do is if you need to hold onto the wall or onto a chair or anything like that, that's absolutely fine. But with the belt, you're going to loop it around your foot so that you can pick your foot up. And you're going to hold that position, use the ball if you need to, we're going to hold that position for 30 seconds. Okay, so you ready? Let's go. So we're just going to stretch this muscle out and then we're going to swap over after the 30 seconds and do the same on the other side. Just step back a little bit. Okay, so try and bring your knees as close together as you can so that you're getting a good stretch on your thigh muscle. Keep your tummy muscles tight and make sure that you breathe all the way through. Okay, three more seconds. Okay, and give that leg a shake out and then swap over. Do the same on the other side. Okay, so 30 seconds again. Let's go. So first of all, we just need to make sure that our muscles are nice and warm and I've got some stretch in them so that when you come to do the exercises that you're not overexerting yourself too much. Just make sure that you've got your tummy muscles nice and tight so that we're helping to knit our abdominal muscles together and that'll help you get the balance that you need then as well. Okay, and let's shake that leg out. Give your legs a good shake. Okay, and then we're gonna go into a lunge. So you can put your belt down now so you've got one foot in front of the other, the other foot as far back as you can. You're going to lean into your front foot. And again, if you want to hold on to your, put your hands on your hips, that's absolutely fine. If you need to hold on to the wall, that's fine as well. So we're going to hold that for 30 seconds. So make sure your tummy muscles are nice and tight. So that we're aiding ourselves with the balance. Keep your shoulders up. And again, if you're struggling with your balance, do make sure that you hold on to something, a wall, a chair, whatever you've got around you is absolutely fine. And as the time goes by, the more exercise that you do, the more you'll be able to come away from that piece of equipment that you need to help yourself with. Okay, so three more seconds. Okay, and I'm gonna shake our legs out. And we're gonna go onto the other side. So, look, on foot. So again, 30 seconds. Keep your hands on your hips if you need to, keep your balance, keep your tummy muscles tight and don't forget to breathe. <laughs> That's really important that we remember to breathe. Hopefully the music isn't too loud or hopefully you can hear it. Okay, so here again we're stretching out our quad muscles, our hamstring underneath here. Okay, give your legs a shake out and we're going to go up into our upper body. So you're going to bring one arm across, 
Let me show you from the side there. And there. Do one arm across and the other arm looped under and pull that into your chest. Okay, so we're going to hold this for 30 seconds. So we're just going to stretch our back out. And we're going to do these exercises again at the end. And this is how we're going to continue to do our warm up throughout all of the sessions so you'll get used to what you need to do. Okay, just keep moving a little bit just to get a little bit of blood flowing around the system. Okay, we've got five more seconds here. Two, one, and then swap over. So bring your arm out, one arm across, the other arm underneath, and the same again, 30 seconds. So just keep on moving. If you need to just bend your knees a little bit to get a little bit warmer, then that's fine. Just keep your hips moving from side to side. But you want to make sure you're getting the arms stretched out and stretching a little bit across the top of your back as well. Okay, so halfway through this stretch. And we've got three more seconds. Okay, and let get that one go. And then one arm up around the back of your head. And then you're going to bring this arm and bring the elbow into as far as you can. If you're here, then that's fine. And again, you can use the belt. Grab hold of the belt with one hand and pull over with the other. So again, we've got 30 seconds. So I'm just going to hold this here so we can keep an eye on the timer. And again, just keep on moving. Move your hips from side to side. Get a little bit of mobility if you want to roll your hips round. While you're stretching out, that's fine. And we've got 10 more seconds and then go around the other way. And three, two, one, let that one go. And then the other arm up over the top and into the stretch. So roll your hips round, get a bit of movement going, get all this area of your body nice and stretched out, ready for your exercise. And then go round the other way with your hips. And just keep on moving, getting your body warm. So we're just going to do body weight exercises just to get us moving. You don't require any equipment, maybe just a step, a chair just to keep hold of onto yourself. Okay, so that's your 30 seconds. So give your body a shake out. So just to give you a little rundown of what we're going to do. So as I said at the beginning of the live, we've got a minute on and a minute off of exercises. So body weight exercises, so we're just going to start with a squat. So your feet are going to be hip width apart, let me turn on the side so you can see, and you're sending your body down as if you're sitting on a chair behind you. So no leaning forwards, you need to try and keep your hips behind your knees and your heels. So we're going to go for a minute. Do as many as you can in that minute. Like I said before, if it's one, then it's one. That's absolutely fine. Mark it down on your piece of paper or in your phone or whatever it is so that you know next time how many that you've done. Okay, you ready? So we're going to go for a minute. Let's go. So squat down, stand up. So squeeze your tummy muscles together. Squeeze your bum muscles together when you stand up. So we're getting that nice, tight feeling in our bum muscles. That's going to help then to get some nice definition. Okay, we turn forward, so let's keep going. So don't forget to breathe. Okay, that is halfway. So if you need to, hold on to a chair, hold on to the wall, whatever you need to do to keep your balance, then that's absolutely fine. Okay, don't forget to breathe. Turn on the side again so you can see what I'm doing. We've got 10 more seconds and then we're going to have a minute rest. Three, two, one. Let's have a rest. So give your legs a shake out, give your arms a shake out, grab a drink of water if you need to, have a lie down on the floor. No, when you get the lie down on the floor, you've got to get back up. So, next exercise is a lunge. So this can be a little bit impactful on the kneecaps. So if you do stuff with your knees, don't go too far into your step. Just bring it really 
gently forwards, just a small step. This is just to get us moving. There's no going from no movement at all into trying to run a marathon, okay? So, you step forward, bring your knee down, step back up, and swap your feet over. Okay, so we've got 15 seconds. So grab a drink of water if you need to. And again, if you need to use something to support yourself with, put your hands on the wall if you need to, hold on to your couch, your chair, whatever it may be. Okay, are we ready? So we've got a minute. Let's go. So hands on your hips to keep your balance. Keep your tummy muscles tight. And again, when you stand up, squeeze your bum muscles to get everything activated and all working. And breathe. So let me stand on the side. Okay, so keep a count of how many you're doing so that next time you can compare your numbers. Okay, so you're just pushing away with your heel, not off your toe, otherwise you're gonna hurt your shins. <clears throat> keep your head up, get a nice posture. And we have got 10 more seconds. So this is just at your pace. If your pace is really fast, then great. If it's really slow, then just go to whatever level you can. Okay, and let rest. So again, we've got a minute rest. Just keep on moving, give your legs a shake out, get your breath back, have a drink of water. Take a gasp on your inhaler, whatever it may be that you need to do in this minute, then just go for it. But just keep on moving because we don't want any blood pooling into our limbs. Otherwise that can be a little bit dangerous and we don't want any of that. Okay, so our next exercise is side lunges. So I'll give you a quick demo. So you're going to step out and touch the opposite foot with the opposite hand. So step out on your left foot or your right, it may look to you, and you're going to bring your opposite foot hand down to your foot. If you just need to do a little step and you touch your knee, then that's fine. If you do a couple of them during that minute, again, that's absolutely fine. Just make sure that you keep a note of how many you do so you can compare as the time goes by. Okay, so just keep moving. We've got another 15 seconds. Okay. I can't see who's coming on, I'm afraid. I'm too far away from your screen. Okay, you ready? So feet together, step out to the side, touch with this hand. Step, touch, back up. Step, touch, back up. Okay, so keep count. And let's go. So you'll feel the stretch on the inside of your legs. Okay, we've got another 15 seconds. Tuesday. Okay. So, next exercise is the burpee. Okay. So, let me do you a quick demo. So, there's lots of different levels of burpee. We're just going to go for the very, very basic. If that means that you need to just do a hands on the wall and step out and step in to start. 
and do that and then we can build up onto the higher levels of burpee just so you know so hands down jut out back together stand up hands down jut out stand up or you do hands down one foot one foot one foot one foot stand up so this can make you feel a little bit dizzy but again go to your pace okay we just want you to do what you can do for today and then we can build on it as the time goes by so we're ready going to go for a minute let's go so i'm just going to do like this because i need to just keep a check on the time if you've got a couch or a chair in front of you you can use that let me show you on here so hands down, stand up, if you have mobility issues, then just do it very slowly. We're not going for one a second, we just want to get you moving. Okay, that's halfway. Okay, or you can do and stand up, feet out, stand up. Okay, we've got 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Well done. Okay, so a minute rest, and then we're going to get down on the floor. Well, no, thank you, pardon. We're not getting down on the floor. We're doing star jumps next. So just keep your body moving, whatever you need to do just to keep all your blood flowing around your system so that you don't seize up. Okay, so star jumps next. If you're able to do the full star jump, then go for it. So out and in, okay. If you're unable to jump, one foot out, one arm up is absolutely fine. Just want you to move, okay. And if you're doing one in the minute, then brilliant. It's just about getting you used to what you need to do so that you're able to progress as the weeks go by. Move that out of the way. Okay, you ready? We've got five seconds. And let's go. So let me turn on the side so you can see. Okay, if you're able to do full star jump then carry on if not if you feel like you get a part way through the ex through the minute and you need to slow the pace down then that's absolutely fine we just want to get your body knowing what it needs to do to be able to progress up to the full star jump okay we're halfway okay or the full jump and again, make sure that you're taking account of how many you're doing. Make a note of it so that you know how you're progressing and increasing your reps as the time goes on. Or just slowly, five more seconds. And rest, well done. Okay, so we've got a minute. Just gonna grab another drink. How's everyone doing? We are halfway through. You will be pleased to know. Hopefully it's not too bad for you. So make sure you take on the water. Okay, so we're now down on the floor. If you struggle to get on the floor, use the wall use your chair, whatever it may be. But we're gonna be down here for a little while now. So, our first exercise is, let me move back a little bit. Hope that's okay. So our first exercise is going to be a crunch. So we're up and down. So feet are flat on the floor, knees pointing up, put your hands behind your head and try and use your abdominal muscles to pull you up. Okay, we're just going for the crunch. Okay, we're not trying to be world's strongest man or anything like that. 
We just want to get you moving. Okay, so we're ready. So we've got a minute. Let's go. Make sure you keep breathing. And keep count of how many you're doing. If you need to have a rest part way through the minute, then do that. That is absolutely fine. We're halfway. So you may feel it on the back of your neck. So just give your hands a little place around the back of your head to help to support you. If you need to have a little stop and a rest, then feel free to do so. And as I say, the whole point is to just get you moving initially. Okay, we've got 10 more seconds. And the dress. Okay, well done. Ooh. Great. Okay. So our next exercise is a Russian twist. So I'll just turn from ways on for you to be able to see what I'm doing with my body. Let me get my stopwatch going. Great. So have your rest, but while you're doing, just watch your little demo. So you're gonna lean back as far as you can. Your feet are out on either side of your hips with your heels into the ground to give you that little bit of extra support. You can progress it up and with your feet up in the air, but we're just gonna start with our feet down in the ground. So lean back, just gonna turn, twist your body, touch the floor, touch the floor, twist over, twist over, twist over. So from the side, you can see how I'm leaning back into my bum, shoulders are up, touch, 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 touch. If it's too much pressure on your tummy muscles or on your back, just sit upright. You just want to get that movement going initially so that you can progress down into a more of a leaning back position and come right round and touch the ground. Okay, so we've got a couple of seconds. Okay, we're ready? Let's go. Touch, touch, touch. Okay, so as the weeks go by, if you want to then incorporate some weights into it, then feel free. But we're just trying to get our bodies moving after all the Christmas indulgence and the New Year indulgence. We don't want to go from zero to hero overnight and kill ourselves. But as the time goes by, you can incorporate some weights, even if it's just a couple of tins of beans, just to get a little bit of resistance. Nearly there. We've got ten more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Good, well done. Give your legs a little shake out. Give your body a big twist. Roll your shoulders back. Do whatever you need to do so that you just keep on moving. Okay, so I will show you what our next exercise is going to be and we're going to do some heel taps. So our body is lying back on the floor, feet in the position as if you're going to do your sit up, but you're not going to be rocking backwards and forwards. You're going to keep your head and shoulders up off the ground like this and you're going to touch the heel with your finger, come over and do the same on the other side. Just keep that going. So again, this can be quite heavy on your shoulder. If your head becomes a little bit too heavy, then just have a little rest. We just want to get going and do the exercise to the best of our ability at the moment and build ourselves up. Okay, so we've got 15 seconds. Grab a quick drink of water if you need to. And then we're ready to get going. Okay, five more seconds. Get your feet in the position. Lift your head and shoulders and touch, touch, touch. So this is massive on our core and our neck muscles as well, because obviously we're lifting our head, which is the heaviest part of our body. If you 
need to bring your feet a little bit closer in so you don't need to do so much of a movement and if you do need to have a little rest for a second as soon as you feel like you're able to get yourself back up and keep on going so that's halfway
sliding, my glasses are sliding, I'm sweaty. Okay, I'm just going to rest my back a little bit, wiggle your bum and back up for five, four, three, two, one and done. Yay! We made it through. <laughs> well done. So there's your 20 minute exercise. So get yourself up off the floor, grab a drink, quick drink of water. We're going to do a little cool down. So you might feel a little bit shaky after that. Hold on to the wall, get your, your band or your belt or whatever it is that you may need to get. Pick up your foot like we did at the beginning and we're just going to stretch our muscles out. So keep breathing, bring your heart rate down, I'm going to come into the middle so you can see me properly. And we're halfway through this stretch. If you have any questions about any of the exercises that we've done today, feel free to drop me a message on the page or comment on the video. I'll be on the live for the next few minutes after the session's ended. Okay, let go of your foot. And then pick the other side up. Get your balance and let's go again. So 30 seconds on this side. Yes, yeah, so I'll be on the live for a little bit after the video, as end, after the session has ended. If you have any questions, just pop it into the chat, into the comments below and I'll, I'll get back to you. So you should start to feel your heart rate coming down, be able to get your breath back, hold on to the wall if you need to. Okay, give your legs a shake out. And then we're going to go into the lunge. Again, put your hands on your hips and lean into that front foot. You need to hold on to the back of your chair or onto the wall and feel free to do so. You should really start now to be able to feel your heart rate coming down, your breathing getting a little bit more normal. Your body temperature should start to reduce a little bit now as well, maybe not feel so sweaty and uncomfortable. Okay, we've got three, two, one, and up we come. Give your legs a shake out, and we're going to swap over onto the other foot. And 30 seconds on this side. So we'll be live again next Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock. So please feel free to come on. The video will be on the page if you want to do this little routine throughout the week then that'd be brilliant, so at least you'll be able to progress a little bit quicker. If not, I'll see you next Tuesday, and that's absolutely fine. Okay, so let's quick shake out, and then arm across, other arm tucked underneath, and bring it across, and just move gently from side to side. Just bring our heart rate down, get our muscles stretched out, and just keep everything nice and loose. Keep on breathing, get your, your lungs filled with oxygen so that can go around to all of your muscles. Make sure you drink plenty of water over the next couple of days because you will be a little bit achy if this, isn't, if this is the first thing that you've done for a while. Okay, that's 30 seconds and then we're gonna swap over and then up we come and off we go again. So just keep on moving. There we go. So by now your heart rate should have come down to near normal pace. If not, don't worry. Your fitness will improve as the time goes by. We're doing these body weight exercises. Let's just keep moving. Okay, there's your 30 seconds. So one arm up over and the other arm, grab and hold of your elbow or onto your hand, wherever it may be that you're most comfortable and then hold that position for 30 seconds. Give your legs a little move about so we don't get any blood pooling, roll your feet, do whatever you need to do, just keep on moving, just while we're doing this stretch. Just gonna check the time, okay, 10 more seconds. Nice deep breaths. OK, 
Okay, let that arm go. Bring it down. Other arm over. And this arm. Grab hold of your elbow and pull it in to the side of your head. As close as you can get it. And glasses are sliding down my face. Okay, let's just keep moving. Lift your legs up. Give your toes a little wiggle round. Rotate your, your ankles. If you do feel achy after the session, most likely you're going to feel it tomorrow or later on tonight, just do some squats just to get that lactic acid flowing back into your bloodstream and that you can pass it away. Okay. And there's 30 seconds done with that one. And we're all done. Well done, everybody. Hope that was okay. I can't see what's going on. So, as I say, I'll stay on for a little bit. If anyone's got any questions, please feel free to pop it into the comments. The video will be on the Facebook page. Um, so you can go back and watch it over again and, and um, have a little practice as the week goes on. But feel free to do this session uh, at your own leisure at home or even on your dinner break. It might be a good way to, to keep going. Okay. 